Out of all of the issues in last night's debate, the candidates kept circling back and talking about China. In fact, the word China came up 21 times last night. So what's the point? Mitt Romney repeated his old stump speech line about getting tough on China. But his business philosophies, you have to admit if you're fair-minded, tell a totally different story. As we speak, Sensata Technologies in Freeport, Illinois, is packing up and shipping out to China. Almost 200 Americans are losing their jobs. Bain Capital controls ownership of this company, so Mitt Romney's personal pile of money is going to get bigger. Sensata can turn a bigger profit with cheaper labor in China. It's the Romney economy. But Romney acts like he feels the pain of the American worker. The place where we've seen manufacturing go has been China. China is now the largest manufacturer in the world. It used to be the United States of America. A lot of good people have lost jobs. People think it's more attractive in some cases to go offshore than to, than to stay here. We have made it less attractive for enterprises to stay here than to go offshore from time to time. Less attractive. Those workers in China are going to make 99 cents an hour as opposed to $17 an hour in Freeport, Illinois. I can't wait to take the show there on Friday night and let the workers tell the story about how Mitt Romney is going to be tough on China. President Obama wants to close the tax loopholes so it's not as attractive for Romney's own company to ship jobs overseas. Mind that Governor Romney invested in companies that were pioneers of outsourcing to China. That's... Governor, you're the last person who's going to get tough on China. Let's bring in James Hoffa, president of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. Mr. Hoffa, great to have you with us tonight. At Good to be here. You bet. At any time during this campaign, especially last night, we'll focus on that. Has Mitt Romney convinced anybody that he's an advocate for the middle class? This economy he's talking about, he, he says that we have shipped the jobs over there as if our market and our workers aren't good enough. Your response? Well, that's, you know, more of this, this Romney uh, double talk about he wants to lower the standards. I, I saw last night as the code word for we could be more competitive if we didn't have unions, if we didn't have, you know, standards here in this country, if we didn't have a minimum wage, we could do a lot of manufacturing. I thought that was a code word to basically let's reduce the standard of living to the American worker and then we'll have all this manufacturing here. That's not America. That's not what we believe in. Uh, and that is what's wrong and flawed about everything he does. And also his record at Bain Capital. He saw nothing wrong with closing down factories here and moving them to China. His record speaks for itself. So he can't come before us now uh, when he's you know, running for president and say, oh, isn't it terrible these jobs went over there? He's for it. And the only way he's saying that these jobs can come back is that we'll lower standards. The president's got it right. The president's saying, let's get rid of any incentive uh, to you know, move jobs overseas. In fact, we'll make it an incentive to build a factory here and tell these big corporations Corporations that have billions and billions and trillions of dollars to make and build the factories here instead of shipping them to China. Don't try and be so greedy. Help America be strong. Mr. Hoffer, are you satisfied with President Obama's actions on China in his first four years in office? Well, I think he's done some things. He's brought over seven different actions with the WTO against China, and this has to do with steel, tires, auto. Bush uh, never did on that. on the right track, and I think that's good, but I think he should be doing more. You know, we've got a dialogue with China. China's not going away. It's an important market, but they've got to open up their market. Basically, it's a one-way trade right now. Our trade deficit was $282 billion in 11, uh, and it's going to be worse this time. It's going to be in the $300, $350 billion this time. Uh, uh, they've got to open up their market if they're going to be our trading partners, and they're not doing that. So we've got to basically use the WTO, use whatever we can, but we've got to open up that market so we can make products here in the United States made by Americans. Let's put them on a boat and send them to China. That's the way to trade. Mr. Hoffa, great to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your time on The Ed Show. Thanks so much. And a Thank programming you. note, we will be live with The Ed Show in Freeport, Illinois, this Friday night, broadcasting from what's become known as Bainport. We will be highlighting the devastating effects of outsourcing. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll bring you the real stories of what happens to those families. And by the way, the Sensata plant had a record profit last year. Coming up, it was a rough day for Paul Ryan in the world of sports. Ah, he's just a regular guy, you know. I'll tell you how the VP candidate managed to fumble with the Wisconsin Badgers and the Cleveland Brown fans all in one day? Stay tuned.